Hello guys, I hope you are doing really really well. Today I have with me Samsung Galaxy Birds FE and in this video I am going to show you how to use these earbuds with 12 tips and tricks. So let's start. The first tip is about how to connect these earbuds with your device. So the device that I'm using is Samsung Galaxy Tab S9 FE Plus but all of the features that I will show you are available in all other Samsung devices. So how to connect them? First of all bring down this quick panel. Here is the Bluetooth icon. Just press and hold it like this. It will open the Bluetooth settings. Now first of all you have to put these earbuds back into the charging case. So so I will put them one by one. Now what you have to do, you have to turn on the Bluetooth and then you have to just close this charging case and then open it again. Once you open it again, here it will show you Samsung Galaxy Birds FE. So here you can see it is showing you the notification about the connection. It will also show you here in your available devices. So just select this connect option and then it will start making the connection. So here you can see everything is done. The Galaxy Birds FE is now connected with my device. The second thing is once you connect your earbuds, it will automatically start to install the Galaxy Wearable app. So if you want this app, you have to allow it. So I just select this allow option and then it will start downloading the app. So it will take just a few seconds and then you have to make some settings. So the Galaxy Wearable app is installed and here we have to make some settings. So first of all, I agree to get Galaxy Buds FE software up update automatically and here I also agree to get updates to Galaxy wearable related apps over Wi-Fi automatically. So I select these two options and then I select continue and then here I have to allow uh, to access the calendar then I have to allow for phone calls then I have to allow for contacts and here it is asking me if I want to allow Galaxy Buds FE manager to make and manage phone calls I will allow it and this is for SMS messages I will allow it as well. So the app is completely installed so here you can see birds fe is now connected with the app and you can do all your settings here in the galaxy variable app the first feature is about Galaxy Birds FE widget. So press and hold on your home screen like this, select this widgets option and then in the widget section just scroll down and you will see this option of Galaxy Birds FE manager. Just select this arrow and here is the Birds FE widget. So what you have to do just select it like this and then select this add option. Once you select this add option here it will ask you if you want to do some settings. So what I will do I will bring the opacity back to 0% like this and then I select the save option. Once you select the save option the widget is now available on your home screen. You can just press and hold it like this and then you can bring it to your main screen. So I will bring it here. Now I can control the birds FE through the widget. The next tip is about ambient sound control during calls. So just select this widget. It will open the birds FE settings. So here what you have to do just select this earbuds settings and then inside the earbuds settings you see this option of use ambient sound during calls just select this option and here you can see currently it is turned off so you have to turn it on so now every time you are on a call it will switch on automatically the ambient sound so you can hear your own voice clearly during calls. The next tip is about equalizer. So select this birds FE widget then select earbuds settings and once you go inside the earbuds settings the very first option is about equalizer. So select this equalizer setting and here you can see you have different equalizer options available. You can select bass boost, soft, dynamic clear or treble boost so among all of them dynamic is by far the best eq but it's up to you whichever you like you can select it from here the next tip is about touch controls so you can customize the touch control for these earbuds so you can directly turn on the touch controls from the widget so here you can see the touch controls option you can just select it and now the touch controls are enabled now how to customize 
minimize these touch controls just select this widget again and here it will open the birds fe settings so here you can see the touch controls are now enabled so just select it like this and here it will show you all the touch controls so currently you can see for single tap it will play or pause the track for double tap it will play the next track but currently it is turned off so you have to turn it on if you want to enable this setting if you want the triple tap for the previous track you can enable the second option as well from here the next option is about touch and hold so if you just select it here you can see the touch and hold is set to noise controls so if you want to change it you can also change it from here for example for the left earbud currently it is set to noise controls now if you want you can change it to volume down once you set it to volume down for the right earbud it will automatically set to volume up now for example i have this right earbud if i tap and hold it like this it will increase the volume on my device so here you can see the volume is now increasing and same thing for the left earbud for example if i uh, touch and hold it like this so now you will see here it will bring the volume down in my device so this is how you can customize the touch controls you can also control the calls through your earbuds just go back from touch and hold and here you can see the call controls option so if you want to answer or end the call you have to double tap on any of these earbuds and then if you want to decline the call you have to touch and hold the next tip is about gaming mode select birds fe widget and then select earbuds settings and here you see this option of labs just select it once you select it here you can see the gaming mode so you can enable this option if you want to have the best audio quality while playing your games the next step is about find my earbuds select birds fe widget and then here you see this option of find my earbuds just select it once you select it here you see it is showing you the location of your earbuds but here it is also showing you the more option just select this more option and here you can see this notify when left behind option so you can enable this option and it will actually alert you if you leave them behind for example if you left these earbuds in your school or in taxi or in coffee shop you will get notify now you can also add safe place just select uh, this notify when left behind option and here you can add safe place so if you leave your galaxy birds fe in any of the places selected below you won't receive any notification the next thing is you can also play sound on your earbud if you want to find them so just go out of this notify option and go out of this more and here you see this ring option so just select this ring option and then you can select this start option and then select play sound so it will play the sound on your earbud so it will be really helpful for you if you want to find your earbuds now i will show you how to connect these earbuds with your second samsung device so currently these earbuds are already connected with this device so i will open the bluetooth settings so i will bring down this quick panel here is the bluetooth icon i will press and hold it like this now you can see the birds fe are already connected with this device so here you can see the settings icon just select it once you select it here you see this option of auto switch to other devices so you have to enable this option from here now i will connect these earbuds with the second samsung device so i will bring down this quick panel here is the bluetooth icon i will press and hold it like this it will open the bluetooth settings and then i will turn on the bluetooth from here now it will start scanning and here it will show you the birds fe as well so here you can see it is showing the birds fe just select it and then it will start making a connection with this device as well so here you can see now the birds fe is connected with the second samsung device as well and it is already connected with this device now you can use both of these devices to play any kind of music or any kind of video and you can listen it through your birds fe 
The next tip is about Bixby voice wake up. So if you don't want the Bixby voice wake up, select birds FE widget from here and then select earbuds settings. And then here you see this option of Bixby voice wake up. Just select this option and from here you can turn it off. The next tip is about earbuds fit test. Select this birds FE widget and then select earbuds settings. And once you go inside earbuds settings, you see the second option is about air but fit test just select this option and here you can see there are different tips included in the box you can try any of these tips and then you can start your earbud fit test so here is the start option and then you can put your earbuds in your ear to try the fit test the next tip is about hard reset select this birds fe widget and then select this earbud settings and here you see this reset option so select this option so now now if you want to restore factory settings you can select this reset option and it will get disconnected from your device as well then you have to reconnect it the next step is about sound balance select this birds fe widget and then select this earbud settings and then select accessibility once you go inside the accessibility here you see the very first option is about left and right sound balance so you can customize it manually by your so here you can see I can change it by myself the next thing is you can also customize the ambient sound so here is the customize ambient sound option you can enable it from here then select this customize ambient sound so here you have all the customization options so here is for the left earbud so you can change it by yourself here is for the right earbud you can also customize the ambient sound from here you can also customize the ambient sound tone so here you can go for clear or you can also go for soft so guys this is for today's video please like this video and please subscribe to my channel thank you very much